what we're going to work on today is we're going to work on our command off. So Dee Dee has a tendency that likes to jump a lot. So we're going to work on our no jumping. Remember, when you're working on no jumping, every time they jump, instead of saying the word down, you want to say the word off. Otherwise, our puppies are going to get super confused because we use the word down for our lay down. So every time Dee Dee jumps on you, I want you to say off, okay? Um, another thing, when our puppies jump on us, our first automatic reaction is to push them off. Make sure you don't do that because what they're doing when they jump on us is they're asking for attention. They want our attention, they want our affection and love. So to keep them from jumping, what you want to do, instead of pushing them off, you want to hold your hands over your body and turn your body, okay? This is going to help because Dee Dee's going to be up on your side, and when you turn your body, Dee Dee's paws are going to fall and end up on the floor. We don't want to give Dee Dee any affection until all four paws are on the floor. Once all four paws are on the floor, we can give Dee Dee lots of affection, we can give Dee Dee edible rewards, all that stuff. But until that happens, no affection whatsoever, turn your body, don't even look at Dee Dee, completely ignore Dee Dee until Dee Dee is ready to be petted with all four paws on the floor and is no longer jumping up on us, okay? Come here. Now our puppies like to jump a lot of times as soon as we come home. They get super, super excited. They want that love and affection and they want to be, you know, as close to us as possible. So they like to jump up on our bodies. Um, anytime our dogs jump on us, on the counter, on the couch, whatever, we want to make sure that we're telling them off and we're moving them away from the object that they're jumping on, okay? Oh, yeah, good job. So, another way to help Dee Dee from jumping is every time Dee Dee jumps, you want to get the brain working in an opposite direction. So, I'm going to grab a treat. So, as soon as you come home, if Dee Dee is up and jumping and jumping, what I want you to do is I want you just to turn to Dee Dee and say, off, and then I want you to say, sit. Dee Dee would much rather sit and give that edible reward. Yes, good job. Dee Dee would much rather sit and get that reward than get told off with no affection and be ignored, okay? Good job, Dee Dee, good job. So what you can do is get Dee Dee's brain in a different frame of mind. If you know that you're going to have a bunch of friends over and they're going to be ringing the doorbell and knocking on the door and driving Dee Dee crazy, and you know Dee Dee's going to get excited and want to jump, first thing you do is get some treats, put them right outside your door, and tell your friends that when they come over they need to have a treat for Dee Dee and just to ask Dee Dee to sit, okay? This is going to switch Dee Dee's mind frame and get Dee Dee thinking about sitting and getting that treat instead of jumping up on you and trying to get you to pay attention to him, okay? So, as soon as Dee Dee jumps, every time Dee Dee jumps now, whether it's on a person, whether it's up on the counter, whether it's on the couch, anything, I want you to tell Dee Dee immediately say off and say it like you mean it, okay? Tell Dee Dee off and then if they're jumping on a person, have that person put their hands up and just roll their body that way Dee Dee can't, you know, moves off their body and lands on the floor, okay? If Dee Dee is, keeps jumping and keeps jumping and you keep rolling and you're not touching him, what I want you to do, grab a treat and say, Dee Dee, sit. Because Dee Dee, like I said, would much rather sit and get that treat than be all up on you trying to get your affection and your attention and you're ignoring him, okay? So, every time Dee Dee jumps now, you need to make sure you do either the first one, the moving and letting Dee Dee fall down, or the asking Dee Dee to sit and, you know, reversing his idea about what he's doing, okay? It's almost like a distraction. It's just deterring him from what he's doing and putting his mind on something else, okay? So come here, Dee Dee. Come here. Now, I'm not going to have Dee Dee jump on me. I'm not going to try to get him to jump up on me because we're going to try to get rid of that. So, just like I said, when you guys go home, every time Dee Dee jumps, whether it's from excitement or, you know, wanting to play or whatnot, Use one of the two methods of just turning your body or asking Dee Dee to sit, okay? And like I said, if you, need, if you have friends that come over or any time that Dee Dee normally gets excited, distract him, okay? Distract him with that treat. Get him to do a command that we want him to do, like sit or lay down, all that stuff, okay? That's going to help Dee Dee learn a lot and 
keep him from jumping. Oh yeah, see, you get affection even when you're on the ground. Good job, buddy. All right, so this was Stephanie and Dee Dee, and today we were working on off and basically no jumping.